So here we have this problem of find all the values of k so that the quadratic excuse me, so that the quadratic expression factors into two binomials. Explain the process used to find the values. Okay, so when we have a quadratic that's in the form of if I here we go, of ax squared plus bx plus c. The way I typically like to factor these is to find two numbers that multiply to get a times c and that also add to get b. So the first number times the last number is what we're trying to get to multiply and the middle number is what we want to add to. So if we start using this strategy of doing a times c, the number that we want to multiply to would be 3 times negative 8. So that would be negative 24 is the number that we're wanting to multiply to. So if we, can, if we start by just writing out the factors of 24, we'll ignore the negative for now, but we'll come back to it in a minute. I like to list out the factors of 24, or the factors of the number, starting with 1 and the number, and then going up and seeing what, um, what next integer would work. So starting with 1, the next thing we would try is 2. 2 times 12 is 24, so we have a factor there. And then 3, 3 times 8 is 24. What about 4? Does 4 have, is 4 a factor of 24? Well, 4 times 6 is 24. So there we have another factor. If we keep going to 5, because 24 doesn't end in 5 or 0, 5 is not a factor of 24. So we're going to skip 5. And the next number we would try is 6, but we already have a 6 in this line. So we have found all the factors of 24. So from here, we want to use these numbers because our um, because the, the number that we're wanting to multiply to is a negative, we need one of the numbers to be a negative, but not both. Because a negative times a positive is a negative, but a negative times a negative is a positive. So we can start out by listing um, the two numbers with one of them being negative. So let's start out with if we do negative 1 and 24, that would be one option of two numbers that multiply to get 24, negative 24, excuse me. And then we could do negative 2 and 12. We could do negative 3 and 8. We could do negative 4 and 6. Then we could list out having the first row positive and the second row negative. So that would be 1 and negative 24, 2 and negative 12, 3 and negative 8, and 4 and negative 6. So these are all the options of our pairs. And remember that the B, we're looking for those, these two numbers that we've just found added together is equal to b. So if we just add these numbers together, k is going to equal the sum of the two numbers that we just found. So negative 1 and 24 is 23. Negative 2 and 12 is 10. Negative 3 and 8 is 5. Negative 4 and 6 is 2. 1 and negative 24 is negative 23. 2 and negative 12 is negative 10, 3 and negative 8 is negative 5, and 4 and negative 6 is negative 2. So this would be the list of all the numbers that could be a value of k that would factor into two binomials. Okay, so I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more similar problems being worked out in, um, in this type of fashion. 
and also share with anybody who you think might find this helpful as maybe some of your classmates or um, something like that to help get the word out. Thanks for watching and happy studies.